Hi everyone, Matt Ford here. I've been lucky enough to sing with big bands for 20 years or more now. And for the last seven or eight, I've been regularly performing with the fantastic Len Phillips Big Band. Joe approached me about four years ago with the possibility of recording a Len Phillips Big Band with Matt Ford. But we both had projects in the pipeline, albums that were being released, and it didn't work out. A lady wouldn't flirt with strangers. It is a fair... We were really keen to get moving on this new project. So we've earmarked some fantastic songs. Now these are the songs that you request wherever we play all around the country. These are your favourite songs. These are songs that are the hits of Frank Sinatra, Bobby Darin, Matt Monroe, and all those other fabulous, fabulous artists. Now we were trying to think of where would be really, really special to record such a wonderful album. And there was only one place came to mind. Abbey Road Studios. We do need your help, your help and generosity to make this album happen. So here's Joe with more details. Well, thanks, Matt. Uh, as ever, the singer leaves it to the band leader to deliver all the boring stuff. So that's why it comes to me to tell you about how this whole project's going to work. Now, every three years or so, we put out a new big band album. And across the course of that three year period, uh, we save up some of our profits to fund the recording of that. Now, COVID means that there hasn't been any profit made. And in fact, we've used up all of our reserves just to keep the business afloat. It costs about £15,000 to make an album. Now, I'm going to put in some of my money. Matt's going to put in some of his money. And Pete North, our producer, is going to put in some of his money. But unfortunately, that still leaves us about £2,500 short of the amount that we need. Uh, we don't want to wait another three years to make an album. And that's why we're coming to you for some help. We looked at each other in the same way then Can't remember where or when Kickstarter provides us with a platform for you to pledge your support to help us make the CD. If we don't reach our target, then you don't pay a penny. We've put together a series of rewards to hopefully suit all tastes and budgets. From just £20, you can receive an advanced signed copy of the CD. Have a look at the Kickstarter page and uh, see what takes your fancy. Uh, if you want to know more about the way Kickstarter works, then their website's got loads of information and it gives you exactly why it's safe for everybody involved. A CD is more than just a way of us getting new music to our listeners. It's a great way for us to publicise exactly what we do. It gets us played on the radio, it gets press reviews, it gets magazine coverage. And ultimately, what this means is that we reach new listeners and we grow our fan base and keep the band on the road. Now, I don't think that big band music gets the coverage it deserves in the media these days. By being involved with this project, you can help us in our crusade to revive big band music in Britain. To Russia, I flew. But then, then... As many of you will know, earlier this year, the band's founder, Len Phillips, sadly passed away. We'd like to dedicate this new album and our concert from Abbey Road to the memory of Len and to all the good that he did for everyone who loves big band music. Now we've set our target for this appeal at two and a half thousand pounds. We think that that's an achievable amount uh, and it will certainly mean that the album can go ahead. If however we exceed that amount, what we've got planned is to get some new arrangements written and also to spend some more money on marketing and publicising the album so that once again, we can further the news that big band music is alive and kicking in Britain today. Some things that happen for the first time they seem to be. Thank you so much for your support throughout the pandemic. You really have been amazing. If you could just help us with this one last lockdown push, we'd be so grateful. The band are raring to go, the studio's booked and the arrangements are written. We think this could be one of the most exciting projects in the band's history. Let's face the music and 